All right, so let's hit that play button, make sure that my uh, simulator matches what I'm viewing my storyboard as. I'll hit play. It's gonna build this application really quick. And it should appear once it's done loading. And basically we're gonna have this simple interface. We're gonna have the label. So there's my launch screen. There's a label. You'll see some things pop up down here. Uh, this is just some, some debug stuff. We're not gonna worry about it. So this is the label. If I tap, nothing happens. And this is the button. If I tap, it does its little button thing where it kind of fades out, right? This is the default uh, animation on all buttons in iOS. All right, so nothing happens. That's great. Looks like it's working beautifully. Let's hit stop. So let's break something, okay? And this is, I kid you not, the number one error. This will happen to you multiple times during your, your time in this course. It's very common. What usually happens is either something within the scene is deleted or a piece of code is deleted. So let's just select this line and hit delete. Okay, now let's hit play. and we have a big error, everything turns red, it crashes. So over here on the left-hand side, the navigator opened, it's the specifically the, the debug navigator showing us, well, here's when we hit the error. We hit the error whenever we loaded the main screen. And on the right-hand side, we have this error. And if I click this little button, it'll show me that error. Sigabert, meaning signal abort, okay? This happens constantly, number one error, all the time. What it basically means is that there's a connection that's being try that's, that's trying to load that doesn't exist anymore. So we deleted that line of code. Well, that line of code said, uh, was, was a way to connect this to the code. And because we just deleted it, we didn't actually break the connection properly. What's happened is this is still looking for a connection to the code. And whenever it loads this screen, it kills the whole program and we get that Sigavert error. So let's go back to our navigator and I'm just gonna select our main storyboard and then I'm gonna hold down uh, option and click the view controller.swift. So that piece of code is gone. How do, I, how do I get that back? Well, obviously I could undo things or what I could do is actually delete a connection properly. I'm gonna do this by opening up the inspector pane and uh, let's clean up this interface a little bit. In the inspector pane, I have my label selected. I figured out that that's what's causing my problem. And on the far right hand side, we have that connections inspector, which we've talked about before. So if I go to that connections inspector tab, while I have this selected, I can see referencing outlets, my label view controller. So remember the my label name is what we gave uh, the outlet name whenever we dragged it over into the view controller text. And this still exists here. This is still a filled circle. It highlights it and everything. If I was to switch back over to my code, I don't see that same connection, right? There's not, nothing's popping up there. So let's go back to our main.storyboard and select this label. And the easiest way to fix it is to simply click this X. And now that referencing outlet is gone. If I hit play, everything should just run lovely now. And we won't get that same Sigavert error, okay? Everything's running fine. So let's hit stop. Open up our assistant editor again. I'm gonna just close this bottom pane and we'll reconnect these once more. Call it my label, hit connect. All right, this happens all the time. Like no joke, this is the number one error. So let's say the uh, opposite happens. We leave that line of code, but we delete the referencing label or the referencing object within the storyboard. So I'm gonna select this label and I just hit delete on it. And what we'll see in the code is we'll see this empty hole right there. Let's hit play and see what happens. So it loads, everything loads just fine. And in fact, it's not gonna give us that immediate error. But if we were to have something later that referenced it, and in fact, whenever I closed it, it gave me an error that has nothing to do with it. Don't worry about that. But this is still not a good thing to have because let's say later I was referencing it and this was empty, it would uh, 
it would not work. So let's do my label dot text equals, and we'll just have some test text here. So what this is saying, I know this might be a little confusing, especially if you have no programming experience, but what I'm saying here is when this button is pressed, take, here, make them a little bit bigger. When this button is pressed, change the text on my label to say test text. It's all we're doing. So let's hit play to run it. And what's gonna happen is whenever I tap that button, that button pressed action happens, and that is going to crash my application. So this is the other side of it. All right, let's tap the button and we get that same Sigabert, well, saying it's fi finding nil, but we're basically getting that Sigabert error again. So what we need to do is basically fix this. I'm just gonna delete this line. And an easy way to fix this if we have a piece of code here uh, is to pull in our new label, call it my label. And if we just take this little circle right here and we click and drag it, we can connect it again. So now it's connected, everything's working. Let's try that same piece of line, that same uh, piece of code again. All right, let's hit play. All right, we're working here. Nothing crashes, and I'll get into writing this code in the next video, but nothing crashes. So I wanted to cover the Sigabert error uh, as quickly as possible because it really is the number one thing that you're gonna run into, and the easiest way to fix it is to simply check this connections tab and just click around your scene. Click around your scene and if I click this button and I see, oh, there's some weird connections in here that don't actually exist anymore, you just click that X to destroy them. Uh, or you know, you, you, you reconnect things back together using that code outlet.